zooming in on the heavens from Earth, man has mapped only a tiny fraction. But the radio telescope will see further into galaxies billions of light years away. For South Africa, this idea was a ticket to place in the continent on the global space stage. One of the areas we picked up on was astronomy because we have these empty spaces, good viewing conditions. Um, people tend to interfere with astronomy. You know, if, they, if it's optical astronomy, it's because of bright lights. If it's radio astronomy, it's because cell phones and different appliances interfere with picking up sensitive and very, very faint radio signals. So other countries had done this before. Australia had done it. Chile had kind of done it. And we thought, well, why not us? South Africa already boasts a meerkat dish in the Northern Cape. is the precursor of the world's biggest scientific project, the SKA. Young scientists like Ngululego Kwabe began to work on the project as an intern. I was almost fresh out of university when I started working at SKA, just had done an internship. The 28-year-old has now been roped in on Ghana's SKA project, his first international assignment. The SKA is like almost the biggest ever scientific project to ever be attempted by humankind. Uh, so to be involved in that and to break ground in Africa is quite exciting. It is our anticipation that the progress we've made in Ghana and the fact that we've been able to build a radio observatory is actually going to take us to the next level of development in the square kilometer array. Africa's ambitious plans into the space turned into reality. And from that you can tell what's happening in star, star formation, galaxy formation. It's a signal that the universe gives us in the radio spectrum. Mari Gita Matabe, SABC News, Accra, Ghana.